Let's start with this uh, reinforcement, okay? okay? So, for the reinforcement, of course, you cannot create the reinforcement without the concrete. First of all, you cannot create the reinforcement without the concrete. Now, um, so let's say I'm going to create a beam first. Beam, which is, um, let's say, uh, 500 by 500. Okay, so this thing. So, under the concrete, under the concrete, you will find these uh, concrete parts and then you can see there is a rebar. This rebar. So, these are the types of rebar that we can create in Tecla structure. Starts from the bar group. So, bar group usually used in the links, stirrups. You can also use that one as a main rebar if you like, bottom and the top. One group for the bottom, one group at the top. And uh, yeah, so that is the bar group. It means you can you have the shape, and then you can have the range from from where to where that these stirrups will be will be modeled. So that's the bar group. Okay. So it means you can specify the spacing. So the spacing could be by numbers, by distance, or by the exact value. Exact value means you, you calculate it manually. And then uh, bar is is an individual bar. So where 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 uh, what is the practical application of the, of the individual bar? Trimming bar could be individual bar. Okay. Um, uh, what do you call that? Lifting anchor could be individual bar because of the uh, that shape. Okay. So. As long as that one is indivi uh, I mean individual, that one, you can use this, this bar. Okay? And then we have this uh, curb rebar or a circular bar group. So this one can use if we have a circular column. Okay? But of course, this one is not very common, but it can be done here. And uh, here, we have also the mesh mesh so what is mesh of course that one mesh could be different type of mesh the rectangular mesh rectangular it means a standard size of the mesh from the factory polygon mesh is something like you decide what is the uh, shape of the mesh and lastly the bent mesh bent mesh is usually used for you know the the precast duct Okay, or the uh, the CD shelter, so that one is a bent mesh, or even the uh, the planks, the slab. So you have the U U bar U mesh. That one is also made made by bent mesh. Now remember that if you created a bent mesh, it cannot be converted as rectangular or polygon, and vice versa. So it will only if it if the characteristic is bent mesh, then it will be bent mesh. If it is Rectangular, it is rectangular, and polygon, it will be polygon. Okay, so let's say, for example, you create the bent mesh here, and then you want to to to, to change that one to to polygon mesh. So you have to delete and then add the polygon mesh again. Okay, cannot be and cannot be. Can bend that four sides? Um, I can only bend two sides at the moment. Four sides. If you want to bend four sides, then you use the bar group. Bar group. Now. Uh, there is an yeah the bar group it means uh, rebar here and then rebar here four sides but again uh, if you if you are using a uh, something like a post processor like a unit technique to export to the machinery and you don't want to show uh, you want to that bar group convert to the to mesh that can be done but you need something like to export to unit technique and then this master computer will be the one telling the uh, the machine to do the poor bent mesh that one is possible but in uh, in the modeling uh, unfortunately at the moment we cannot do the four bent mesh so if you have the uh, if you have a plant so one one U mesh and then two L mesh, which is, I mean, the standard of the HDB. Okay, so strand pattern, of course, this strand pattern is for the hollow core. 
you know, the hollow core have the strand, so you can do the strand pattern. And then, uh, uh, and uh, we have also this uh, rebar splice. Rebar splice is something like uh, you, you draw a long bar, let's say 20 meter bar. We can, we can automate the splicing of the reinforcement. Okay, so let's say the available market size is uh, 6 meters. So once you generate the uh, uh, splicing tool, so automatically the system will cut and then will put the overlapping there. Okay, we'll, we'll have the example of that one later. So at the moment, let's, let's use the bar group. So once you click this bar group, shift and then click the bar group, so it will open to us the, uh, the properties of the bar group. Okay, so that bar group, we have a different group, bar group type. Normal is for the normal, uh, normal uh, beam. Then you have a tapered. Of course, if you have if you have uh, two two different uh, height, that is the tapered. So you can use a tapered uh, type, and then tapered ridge, curve, and and then spiral. So you can choose. At the moment, we'll choose the normal one. Okay. Name rebar. I can put here links. Or I can put stirrups or whatever uh, name you want to put. Okay? Grade and size. Grade and size always works together. You cannot just simply type here the size that you want. You cannot type 100. It will, uh, I don't, hey, there's 100. Uh, no. I mean, <laughs> no. Okay, because here it's better not to type here, but instead you just go to this grade so you can see what are the available grade let's say h so it's up to 50 only even i type 100 it will not work because it's not available in the system so this one is uh, always the partnership of the grade and the the diameter so whatever grade and diameter in your system then you can get it now the question is hey i have a, i have i have a, a different grade I, I have a different size so let's say I want a um, 15 dia bar. It's not available there. How can I put a 15 dia bar? Of course, you can always go to the uh, rebar uh, rebar database and then add the 15 dia bar. Okay, this the system is customizable. You yourself can do that one. You don't need you don't need to call me to to do all these things. Okay, so you can customize the tecla structure. Okay, let's say at the moment we'll use the eight dia bar stirrups okay so automatically here h eight and then this 16 automatically the reduce from the uh, from the bs code okay from the bs code the the radius here is 16 okay so you don't have to type that one but of course anytime you can change it if you like but i mean it will suggest by the system but if you don't like you can always change because sometimes uh, if you have a bigger look, if I have a bigger uh, diameter, let's say 28, look at the bending radius, 90. Are you going to use the 90 radius? No, usually we, we use 20, right? Even even though this is the standard bending, we don't use that one in the uh, in our publication, correct? So you can change it uh, immediately here. So 16, let's say I want 20. Okay, then the class number, let's say... Uh, color is let's say six so numbering this is how you want to number the uh, the reinforcement do you want to number let's say with the prefix let's say do you want to number as b1 b2 b3 or bar one bar two bar three no need if you want only one then remove the the value in the prefix it will be one two three four five six seven and so on now in tecla structure different ways of numbering in rebar uh, I don't know in, in your case, how do you do, how do you put the numbering in rebar? Each and every element has starts from one or continuous? Because in Tecla structure, let's say I have this, uh, I have this beam, the rebar here is three, so rebar one, two, three, and then the rebar here is different, so it will be four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine, ten, eleven, so that's continuous. Okay, but... But if if you want if you want to change the uh, the numbering, it's also okay. 
because uh, there are companies or some of the companies here in Singapore, uh, Tecla user as well. So they uh, they want each and every element. The numbering of the rebar starts from one. So here one two three, here one two three four, here one two three four. That one is also possible. Okay. So the numbering in Tecla structure is quite flexible. Okay, according of course to what you need. Okay. So there you go. So now. I have this, uh, okay, going back to this uh, bar group, okay, so I have the links, the grade, edge, uh, bending radius, and numbering, and then here, the hook, let's say I'm going to change this one to no hook, and then the hook end is no hook. Remember the start and the end. Remember the handle that I, I told you, the yellow is the start, the magenta is the end, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, okay. So, and then cover thickness, on plane, let's say zero, zero, I'll put everything zero so that I can show you what will be the, uh, the effect if I change that value, okay? So, spacing. So, here, this is the one that I told you earlier, if you're, if you're, uh, if you're using a rebar group, so there, will, there is a different spacing method, creation method. So one is you specify the distribution of number by number of reinforcing bar. So it means from here to here, I want 10 rebar. So whatever the spacing, it will give you 10 rebar. Okay? Now, if I say distribution by target spacing value. So from here to here, my target to make it equal, my target is 200. So it will give you 200, 200, 200. Or it will give you the nearest to 200 to make it equal. Okay, but your target is 200 because uh, as you know in the factory they, they cannot really put exactly 200 there right so they will divide that one into equal spaces okay so you can choose or exact spacing value so let's say 200 200 exactly 200 and then flexibility on the per space so whatever the excess it will be on the first per space or the last or at the middle okay and uh, flexibility on the first and last. So it's still equal. And lastly, exact spacing. Exact spacing, you are the one who will put the spacing by yourself. Let's say 5 into 50, space 300, space 200, space 5 into 50. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the spacing that you can uh, do in the exact spacing. Okay? All right, so let's say the target spacing is 200, okay? And that's it. So here, you can exclude the first bar or exclude the last bar or exclude the first and last bar. I mean, if you don't want to create the first and last bar, this is the option. There are some cases that you don't need to create, okay? So, but let's create all. All right, so now, once you click the, uh, the bar group, so what happens is pick... Pick the part to reinforce. So it always asks us to pick the part to reinforce because you cannot create the reinforcement without the concrete. So you need to pick the concrete. Okay, so let's say pick this one. Pick. Okay, so now pick the shape of the bar. So what is the shape of the bar? So let's say the shape of my bar here is, let's say a U-shaped bar. U-shape, okay? U-shape, okay, let's see. So, one, two, three, four. So that's U-shape. If I want to close that one, I need to pick again to the first pick point, right? Okay, but I want only U-shape. And then, to finish, to fi I mean, to finish the shape of the bar, click the middle button of mouse. So it means, here itself, you can see what to do. Okay, so you will not get lost. So now, pick two points to indicate the range of the reinforcement. So, I have the U bar. So, where I want to put the, the reinforcement? From here to here. End to end. Or from here, at least half only. It's your choice. Okay, so but at the moment, we pick from here to here. And there you go. So you have now this. Control 2 so that we can see. So this is the 
u bar. Okay. Remember, I I put the value all zero, so that you you can see what is the effect if I change. Ah, I intentionally put it zero so that exactly it will be on the peak point. Okay. Now, just again double click. So let's say on plane. On plane is what. So on plane is that what is the uh, the cover thickness on plane to the plane where you where you pick the shape. So it means here. This is the on plane. So if you unwrap that one, if you unwrap, if you unwrap that one, so this is the plane. Okay, if you unwrap, but because. I pick one, two, three, four. So this is the plane. This is the on plane. And then the prom plane is this one. This and the other end. That is the prom plane. Okay. Let's say our uh, on plane cover thickness is 25. So type 25. 25 and then enter. So you can see here it's 25. Okay. Wait. Let me just uh, select. And then create a separate view for this one. Okay, so 25. Okay, now prompt plane. So let's say my prompt plane is, uh, let's say 50. So look, start and end. So now it's already 50. Okay, now start and end. Start and end. So if I say here 25, 25, so both will be 25 from here and then here 25 from here. Okay. Now let's say there are cases that our beam, our uh, reinforcement is exposed. Correct. So let's say I, I expose this one as 150. So I'll put negative again, positive, negative. So negative. Let's say negative 200, and then this one is negative 200. So there you go. So I have the exposed rebar now. Okay? And next is hook. So let's say I, I want to have a 180 degree hook. 180 degree hook, and then enter. So you have now the exposed link. So you can change this one to... Uh, uh, 90 degrees if you like so 90 degrees and then 90 degrees modify now what if the bending is the other side the other side so here 90 degrees just change it to custom hook and then if I if I click this one custom hook all right okay custom hook and then now once this one is custom hook, I can put the negative sign to the 90. So here, that one is 90 degrees. So you can control. Even if I want to change the, the length, let's say this one is 250. So that one is more, more longer. So you can manipulate that one by controlling this value. So that's why it's parametric. Okay, now look. Let me just go back to the original one. Okay, this one. So, the good thing with this one, as you know, there is always a revision. From 500 to 500 uh, concrete, let's say I change this one to, to what? 300, or let's say I change this one to 800 by 300. Okay? So, what will happen? Doesn't matter if change because it will automatically change the the reinforcement. Even if I change this one as big as, as I want, let's say one thousand by uh, one thousand, so it be it becomes bigger. Okay. So again, go back to five hundred by five hundred, and then enter. And then if I change this, uh, if I change the the length of my beam so here let's say I add another two meters enter expand 
Okay? The reinforcement also move according to the length of the beam. So you don't have to recreate it again. Okay? So that's that's the good thing because uh, remember earlier, okay, before I give you the time time to 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 create. So remember earlier I have the copy to another object. So if I have this let's say 600 by 300 uh, uh, beam here. Let's say a shorter beam. So you can see the difference of this one, right? You can see the difference. If I copy this one, select select the reinforcement and then copy to another object. So from this point to the so I copy. There you go. So that's the use of uh, uh, I mean, that's how the Tecla uh, reinforcement works. Okay. Now let me continue. Again, I, I will repeat the uh, I will repeat this uh, what I call that the uh, before uh, you you have an exercise before you copy. So control two. So now let's say I'm going to add a main bar at the bottom. Main bar at the bottom. So for the main bar at the bottom. So here, I can just simply specify here, let's say, main bar. And then this one, let's say the size is 20. And then uh, no hook. And then this one, let's say uh, uh, 40. 40. And then negative 200 is also okay. And then here, the distribution is uh, number of reinforcement, let's say 3. Okay, so look. Again, same procedure, huh? same procedure. Pick the part to reinforce, which is the beam. One, and then two. Okay, so I have only a straight line. One, two, middle button of mouse. And then the range from here to here. And there you go. So you have now, or maybe I changed the color of this one to purple. Okay, so if I want to, to change this one again with the hook, so I can put here 90 degrees and then here 90 degrees. So now I have now this uh, beam with the reinforcement. If I want to, uh, to copy again this copy to another object, so pick this one and then pick that one and then I'm going to have this beam. Okay. So now, create this beam and then create this reinforcement, the group of reinforcement. Okay? The next one is this. Um, I want to have the lifting anchor or lifting hook here. Okay? So I can use my rebar, single bar. Okay? Single bar. So from this single bar, I can now specify, let's say, lifting lifting and then the thickness is 10 and then let's say this one is 20 and then here no hook no hook and then this one the on plane from plane I want to make it zero because I don't want to have a cover on that one I will model that one directly to the position it will be okay so look pick the part to reinforce so this one one and then so if I don't have the reference, I can use my control key. But even you don't, even you click on this one, it's also okay. But the the important is you uh, you properly create the shape. Okay. So what I will do is this. Then I will modify it later. So one. So let's say five hundred, and then here let's say four hundred. This one is one hundred. Four hundred again, and then. 500 and then middle button of mouse that's it i have already the the lifting so all i have to do is just simply right click and then move i can move that one from here 400 but if i want to extend that one i can still select that handle that handle and then i can move again let's say another 150 and then i have now my lifting okay so again i will repeat 
So let's say from here, click and then control. So this time I will control 350 and then here 500. Then I'll make it 400, 100, 400 and then 500. Middle button of your mouse and then I have now this. So directly in that position using my control key okay again if you still have the difficulties to use the control key and then use the uh, the the points okay now earlier i told you i can select this handle and then i can i can move okay i can move something like this right i can move or i can use my direct modification direct modification is very good at the for the uh, for the rebar why so here if I select this one and then stretch, ah, sorry, why oh, it doesn't stretch that one? Okay. Where's the other way around? <laughs> okay, so let's say uh, here. Hmm? Ah, I don't know why it's the other way around. But anyway, you can uh, you can do the stretching, and then if you want to add more more handle, you can just simply click here. To, and then you can change the, the shape of the reinforcement. Okay, what if, look, what if I have this uh, uh, straight bar? Let's say uh, create this bar. One, two, okay, middle bottom of your mouse. Then can I, the question is, can I, uh, can I, uh, what do you call that, split the reinforcement? Okay, look. So from here, top view, I select split, select this reinforcement, and then split. So this reinforcement will be split. Right? So now, using my direct modification, so the, the splitted uh, the splitted reinforcement. Okay? Ah, okay, because. Uh, so the splitted reinforcement will be this way. So here, I'll just add this one, and then add this one, and then move this one. So when I, uh, sorry, when I add this one here, and then add this, move, move it here. Okay, since I have already the, uh, the node, I can just simply remove this one, and then select Alt key, and then move, let's say, how much? Let's say 20. So now I have, I can have now this. Cranking. Cranking. Also, the good thing here, huh? look. Let's say, let's say, let's say I have a, uh, Let's say I have another reinforcement. So click one and then two, middle button, and then click one and then two, middle button, then one and then two. So I have three. I have three reinforcement here. So here, I want to join, combine this one and this one this one and this one I can split and I can combine the reinforcement so that's how you you uh, manipulate this reinforcement even in even this one uh, look at this if I have a link like this I can let's say I want to delete one so how you're going to delete one of the link one of the link let's say I have the opening Let's say I have this, uh, okay, let me just, uh, let's say here, I have an opening here. One, two, three, three, four, right? So this one, I need to delete that one or I need to move. Okay, so how, how, how we are going to do that? Because this one, if you notice here, the spacing is 200 
So I can manipulate this one. How? Simply direct modification. Select the link. Select the link. And then here, you can see here, add, move, and delete reinforcement. So if I click this one, and then here, I'll just simply select this reinforcement, delete, and then select this reinforcement, delete. Or I can simply select this one and then move to the edge and then this one move to the edge. Easy. And what if I want to add another reinforcement here? I just simply click here plus, plus, plus until I get whatever reinforcement I need. So if you notice here, now I have a fully reinforced on that area, that more reinforcement there. So no need for you to recreate it. So that, that is the direct modification and then how you control the reinforcement. Okay, so now what I want you to do is kindly use the, uh, uh, this bar and then I want you to, sorry, I want you to add the reinforcement bar here. Okay, let's say here. I want you to add this, uh, um, uh, what, what, what do you call that? The edge bar? Yeah, edge Trimmer bar. Trimmer bar. Okay, so look how you are going to add here. So this bar, select, and then click one, and then two, middle button of your mouse. So if you notice here, it's zero, zero, right? So let's say I'm going to change this one to uh, two. Okay, so look. Here, I can just simply change this one. So that one is uh, um, on plane. Let's see if that one is on plane because sometimes this one doesn't go to that on plane. That Oh, okay. So it means that one, this one is the pro, this, this is the on plane. So it means... I need to change this one as 0 and then this one will be 30 or oh, sorry negative okay so here enable for you to extend this one I can uh, change this one start and end negative let's say 400 negative 400 enter so you have now stretch stretch it there right so this one instead of Instead of creating again, I'll just simply copy this point because that one is my reference. Sorry. Copy. So this point to this point. Correct? So all I have to do because that one is outside, all you have to do is a negative, remove the negative sign and then modify. And that's it. So you have now the... So for the all the vertical, I can use this one. And then change only the positive negative value for the cover. And then for the for the horizontal, I can create a different one. So here, simply click click one and then two. So there you go. So it's still you need to change this one to okay. Now th this one becomes uh, thirty. So this one is always changing because it's. Uh, it, it's because of the, uh, what do you call that, uh, local coordinates, local coordinates. The, so here, now if you want, if you don't want, because this one is fouling, if that one is, uh, let's say 10 millimeter, they, you can easily bend that one. But if not, you can just simply uh, change this one, let's say another 10 here. So that one it will be, okay, so it will not foul. And then just simply copy. Copy from here, perpendicular, and then this one again, change it to 30. Alright, so you have now the trimmer bar on, the, on that edge. Okay, so for the, for the mesh, I, let's say I have a... Uh, another wall here so you go to this uh, mesh and then same thing you can specify the uh, the name mesh 
and then you can change the color if you like so here this is the type of the mesh polygon rectangle and bent mesh most of the time we use polygon or bent mesh rectangle we don't really uh, I mean not much that we use the standard one right so anyway polygon and then cross above and uh, cross below it means you can interchange the uh, the cross the main. yeah the main to the okay so cut by father so it means if there's a cut so it will cut also the mesh okay and then you can have the uh, the mesh standard here from uh, a1 a2 uh, a8 d8 e and so on you can again customize this one according to the new one i think now is wd or something for the Europe Euro code, okay, and then again you have this uh, the uh, longitudinal, the uh, overhang. That one is customized mesh, right? So I have on plane and prone plane again. So same thing. Pick the part to reinforce. Click and then pick the corner points of the mesh. So one, two, three. Backspace. 3, 4, and then middle button of your mouse. 4, because uh, I don't need to close. Mm -hmm. Because it's already covered, right? Middle button of mouse. And then specify the longitudinal, the, the direction of the longitudinal bar. Okay? And there you go. So as you can see here, this is the fast mode. If you have a huge model with all mesh, so you can do the fast mode so it will not show the exact mesh but it will show the symbol because i'm on the fast mode so here i can just go to the display and then change this one to exact okay so this is the mesh so my mesh is outside so it means i can just change the uh, the on plane or the prompt plane maybe here on plane yeah so it be it will become i uh, know this one so here it's already inside the what it's already inside the uh, the the concrete so i just pick the four points and then i have the mesh now what if what if i want to have a uh, rectangular mesh so rectangular mesh so here I have to show the uh, what do you call that uh, this one rectangle so for the rectangle mesh there is a exact size so let's say this one is uh, 2000 by 1000 okay so click and then pick two points one and then two so that one it gives me the rectangular mesh so it, it's on the on the on the floor plan so that's why this one is this one is a fix fix uh, size of the mesh so I rather use the uh, the polygon much easier to use okay now next one is this okay look what if i'm going to have a cut here so let's say uh, edit polygon cut so here one pick the part to be cut one two three four five and then six so you can see the mesh is cut instead that if you want to expose the mesh even there's a cut or there's a recess so you can just simply say father cut no enter so you still have the mesh mesh there <coughs> okay now bent mesh remember this uh, remember this um, plant this one plant box okay planter box okay so let's say i want to have a bent mesh here so in this case i'm going to to pick up to the polygon of the bend okay so how go to this uh, concrete again rebar and then mesh 
Then this time, I will use the bend. So for the bend, pick the part to reinforce and then the bending. So one, two, three, and then four. Middle button of mouse. So the bending is U-shaped. Correct? And then from where? From here. Middle button. And then from here to here. And there you go. So you have now this bent, bent mesh. Correct? Now, if you notice here, this this one, if I double click on this and then cross above and then below, so it change and then enter, it change the position of the bent mesh. Alright? So that's how the... Uh, uh, sometimes in the bent mesh, we want to also delete some rebar. Okay? Again, you can always select the uh, direct modification and then here move add delete reinforcement so let's say i'm going to select this one and then delete or i can add more i add more and then let's say this one change the diameter or sorry change the diameter so let's say here i want to change that one to 12 so everything changed not that one i want to change uh, actually i want to change one eh? but but anyway yeah you can change the diameter also so here six ah okay you can change individual individually also let's say for example you want to change only the uh, uh you want to change only one this one so select that one and then let's say 12 so here because sometimes there's a mesh that the end they they will add more uh, bigger size of diameter so you can also change that one okay so this is the uh, bent mesh okay what if I have the opening here will the bent mesh will be cut okay let's say here I want to have an opening So polygon cut. So this one cut by father, yes. So even that one is a bent mesh, you can still cut the bent mesh. You don't have to cover up in the drawing if you cannot cut the uh, the bent mesh. Okay? So that's the uh, the mesh so it means if you want to add the uh, the mesh on your wall so in this wall you can just simply uh, uh, go to the concrete this one if you notice there is a cut there right yeah. so all you have to do is just simply uh, use the polygon mesh polygon and then pick the part to be cut so this one one and then one Two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, and then pick one, and then two. Okay, is it the polygon mesh? Okay, I think I need to change this one to same all distance. Yeah, and then change this one to. Um, Yeah, so I have now this mesh in the wall. Okay, so try this one, and then after this, we're going to have another exercise modeling and add. We need to add a reinforcement on the model. Remember, we still need to add reinforcement on this uh, on this uh, structure that we have created, right? So. Try the uh, mesh. At least we cover already the, uh, the the basic reinforcement group of reinforcement uh, rebar, single rebar, and then the mesh. Okay, strand is also the same uh, because uh, if you want the strand, you can use the rebar group or rebar as well, and then just change the material to strand, not as a uh, as a rebar.
Okay, column and beam. So I just give you the uh, how this one works. Okay, so I have already the column and beam here. So all I have to do is it's either I create, I get the uh, the section section one view, or I can simply select one beam, right click, and then create three D views of part. So from here, I can now start my detailing. So again, from the detailing, again, you can use the construction point or construction line if you want. Okay, I don't have any issue on that one. Or you can use the control key and then click if you, if you know that one. I don't, there's no issue on that one. So all you have to do here is what? There is a 20 millimeter gap, so I want you to have a construction line here or I don't know how you're going to do that one, but I need you to cut this one. 20 millimeter gap, and then I want you to draw the the corbel. So how to draw the corbel? Two ways. One is you create a beam, rectangular beam, and then cut using the line cut. That's one. Or directly you can use the slab. Slab because slab is you can pick one, two, three, four. And then change the thickness according to the thickness of the wall uh, or of, of the column. And then you have already the, the core bed. Okay? And then after that, you need to add the dowel bar using the rebar. And then you need to add the, uh, the links and the main bar using the rebar group. Okay? <laughs> so for the dimension of the, the hook and everything, you, you do it. But this one is a closed link. Close link. So close link, it means one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Close link. Because if I put one, two, three, four, that's a U, U link. So close is you, you end where you start. Okay? Are we clear on this one? Okay. Do that one. Just create only one. Create only one. Because later, once you create one, the other will follow. Mm -hmm. At least half. You, you create half. And then the uh, the other half we will uh, do the using the uh, uh, component. Okay. All right. Now, from here again, I'm going to select select this one, create view of part. Okay. So I have now my uh, my beam and then the column, right? Beam and column. So I want to cut that one twenty. Okay, 20. So what I will do is use my uh, edit and then fit part end. Pick the part to be cut. And then from here, I can cut here directly and then move. Or control key and then here 20. And then there you go. So no need for you to add also the, uh, uh, what do you call that? Okay, fit part end. Okay, so now here. Add the 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 the, uh, the core bell. So I think the easier one is uh, slab, and then the slab will be uh, 400. And then I'll type here. But you need to change this one to core bell. Oh, you don't change? It's it will be slab. You'll be set. No, I mean it's only a name. Yeah, but uh, name like later on, when you do the uh, <laughs> the filtering like what yesterday, yeah, uh, okay. so it will be filtered as a slab. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here middle. Change this one to precast, and then maybe at 11. So here, 1, and then how much? This one is 250. And then here is what? Uh, 200. Okay. And then here, I need another 200, but I cannot click on this one, but I need to press Control key. Oh, sorry. Space. Control key, and then click here. And then middle button of your mouse. And then you have now this. Okay, and then immediately, immediately, since this core bell is part of the column, you need to select the core bell, right click, and then add cast unit, add to. Remember this one, ah? Huh? Okay, gentlemen, you check this one. This one is very important. Core bell is part of the column, right? So once you create the core bell, you need to select the core bell, right click, add to. So it means if I click this one, add to the column, so the core bell now is part of the column. So look, if I select the assembly, if I select the assembly, see, that one now is part of the... Right 
Ok? Select, select, right click, cast unit, add to. Sometimes, sometimes you don't see the cast unit. Why? Because the material is not concrete. So you will see add to assembly or assembly, add to assembly. Okay, so, but you need to change that one to concrete. Hmm? So you can you can see if that one is added if you select this assembly select assembly and then click on the column look it highlights it highlights both column and the corbel Select assembly did you select assembly Yeah click and then yeah it's already yes. selected. Okay, now let's let's move on. Okay, the first thing to do is I'm going to add now my reinforcement to the column. So to add the reinforcement to the column, if you notice here, hey, there's a lot of things here happening here, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to clear my column and add my reinforcement. So what sh what shall we do? So select the column, right click, and then show only selected. So at least. My view is clear. You always clear your view. I mean, you, you show only the things that you are going to work with. Okay? Because if not, then there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, interference on, on, your, uh, on your view. Huh? No, I, I make a heated discussion. That's why it's not cold. <laughs> okay, so now let's, let's add... Let me add the, the, the rebar, okay? So, to add the rebar, okay, look, I'm going to uh, use now my bar group, and then I'm going to change main bar. This one is 16, correct? 16. And then uh, 20, bending, okay, so angle 90, it's okay. And then let's say this one is 40-40. Then this one is, let's say, 25-25. Uh, uh, okay? So now, click this one. One. Uh, pick the part to reinforce. Then two. And then middle button of your mouse. And then the range. So that one is... That one is my reinforcement. Right? But I can, I can change the... The length of that one, I don't so that it will not touch. So instead of 90 degrees, I will use the custom hook and then change this one to, let's say, uh, 130. Enter. Uh, and then the other one is custom hook, and then this one is 130. Enter. All right. So it's still maybe I'll just uh, put 120, 120. Enter. Sorry, let's say it for 100, much easier. Okay, all right. So now, if I want to do that one on the other side, all I have to do is to copy mirror or just simply select, right click, copy. So from this point to this point, it will be the same. Okay, all I have to do now is this one must be changed to negative 40, modify, and then this one must be negative 90 and then negative 90 and then enter. So I have now this. Much easy, right? Yeah. So now let's add the link. So the link, select again the bar group. This time it's, it's link 90. So this one is link. Links and then this one is uh, 10. Sorry. Uh, and then here I'll change this one to yellow. And then I'll use na I'll use my 135 degrees, 135 degrees, and then this one will be 25, then 50, and then 25, 25. Now remember, if you if you are closing the link, make it sure that whatever the on plane value, that is the value of the end and start. If not, your uh, your link will be like 
will be like this. It will not fall into the, you, you know, the 135 degrees. Huh? So remember that one. Huh? What, if you are doing the close link, make it sure that the on plane and the start and end must be the same value. If not, it, it will be like this or this one. Okay, so now I'm going to pick the part to reinforce and then one, two, three, four. Also, this value helps us because it will show us that we pick the correct one. If this one has some, some points and then it's wrong. So three, uh, four, five, and then middle button of your mouse and then one, and then two. Oh, oops, this one must be no equal distribution, and then I'll I'll put one five zero. Hey, this one, sorry. Oh, uh, it's one eighty. Okay, there you go. All right, and then redraw. So I had to redraw. Now, sh shall I repeat this one to beam? The procedure. Did you copy that one to beam? Yeah. Or you you repeat? So copy. So yes. Select these three. Right click, copy to another object. So pick the column, and then pick the beam. Did you do the same? Okay. So there you go. So in that case, but the thing is, look, the three is uh, as the side. Then. How? So here, you can change the beam. If you go to this uh, top, change it to front. Let's see. Okay, and then change this one to, I think, I think it should, uh, I think it should be okay. All right, should be okay. All right, so there will be a middle, uh, middle bar, okay? Or if not, then you need to change this, this one to the other, uh, other side okay let's say this one is correct okay mm -hmm. so now let's move on to this to this one to the dowel bar so dowel bar i'm going to use the this bar and then type here dowel bar okay and then this one is 25 all right no hook no hook and then this one, zero, zero, zero. Okay? So now, I can either pick the column or the corbel because it, it's one cast unit. So corbel, then one, two, and then let's say up to here, three. Middle button of your mouse. So that's the double bar. And then here, I can change this one to let's say uh, 50 and then hey sorry that one is wrong again pick the double bar yeah so one one two say three there you go and then here if you want to extend that one so start what is the start this one let's say negative 300 so you have now this uh, double bar at the center. Okay? Now, if you're okay with this one, all you have to do is just simply uh, select, select this one, right click, copy, all content to another object, and then click the column. And there you go. So you have now this, uh, this column. Okay, so all you have to do is to, to add this one. Let's say, again, in this case, uh, I can select this one, right-click, copy, to all content to another object. So just simply click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then there you go. So you have now all the reinforcement. And then for this column also, just simply copy to all content to another object so click here click here and then all you have to do is to to add the corbel or copy the corbel copy rotate 
the corbel to the other side. Alright? But again, this one is the manual way of doing the these details. Okay? So now, um, my the next one is, I'll continue. Huh? Now this time, I'm going to show you how to use the component available in the system. Alright? Okay. Uh, for the component, okay, for the component is this one. So, again, before we before we continue with the component, I just want to remind you that uh, I, I, would, I would recommend that always we always back to basic. I mean, don't forget about the uh, the manual editing. That one is very important because the uh, the component is always there, but not all the time the component will serve our uh, 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 the standard that we are going to use. Okay, so now. Let's start with the component. First is the uh, Let me start with this column and beam or let's say this uh, uh, yeah, this column and beam, all right? So again, I want you to select one column, uh, one one beam and then create views of part. Okay, so now this beam okay the first component that I'm going to use is the connection between the column and the beam okay so all you have to do is you go to this uh, go to this uh, application and component or just simply I think the shortcut is still control F yeah still control F okay so you can you can see here this uh, component these are the components available in the system and then let's say I type Corbel. Just type Corbel. So you can see uh, four different types of Corbel. All you have to do is, okay, look, Corbel connection number 14, double click. Earlier we did not add the reinforcement to the Corbel, right? Now we're going to add. So here, for this Corbel, you don't need to draw the Corbel now. Why? Because here you can specify what, what kind of Corbel you, you want. Okay, let's say this one. So 200, let's say this one is 200. I will follow the same, the same. So this one is 200 and then this one is 250. I'll follow the same uh, size. Okay, and then the, this one 20, the gap. So I don't need to cut. So when I apply this one, okay, maybe the reinforcing bar here, you can see here diameter 25. Okay, so apply and okay. So all I have to do is, Pick the column and click the, cor the the beam, and then the system will run, and then you will have the corbel with the reinforcement. Even the bearing pad is there, and the cutting more complete than what we had done earlier. Okay, so here in this case, much easier for me now because I can just simply look. I can select column. And then select these two. Ah, sorry, no, 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 no. Column, and then column, and then column, and then beam, column, and then beam. So this one, column, and then beam. Okay, why it's not showing? Yeah. Okay. So column and beam. Now, next is the reinforcement for the column and beam. So reinforcement for the column first. So what is the reinforcement for the column? I, I will just simply type here column. Okay, column. And then you will find here at the bottom, you can see a lot of column connection here, but you can see here rectangular column reinforcement number 83. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just type the, let's say, rec, uh, column reinforcement and then this one will show. So if I put, I put here reinforcement, so here it shows all the column reinforcement. So click on this one. Again, from this, uh, from this component, I can specify the size of my, my uh, uh, what do you call that, the reinforcement, let's say 
earlier this one is 16 right 16 16 and then the stirrups is the stirrups is uh, where is the stirrups stirrups ah here you can see here 10 but I need I don't need this 50 this blank so this one is 150 okay then with a bend like that apply and okay so all you have to do is to click the column and there you go so you have now already the the reinforcement okay so for the bend so all I have to do is just again click this one and then uh, here bar end so you can see here there is a uh, bending let's say 100 100 and then 100 so here uh, modify so it goes goes there I think we put we need to put the uh, negative 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 modify yeah but again like that one so the bending if you want the bending here okay so I just change this one to this one this way and then modify and then look the bending change to that position okay so if you're happy with that one apply and okay you can also put that one on the bottom one but no need so I'll just uh, select this rectangular column and then click on this and then you have the same and then lastly for the beam rebar beam reinforcement so here beam reinforcement I can again select the size so this one is something like uh, um, 16 and then the, the syrups are 10 okay apply and okay so just simply click the beam and then you will have this uh, beam with stirrups all right how about the reinforcement for the corbel again type here corbel so just simply click the column and the corbel and middle button of your mouse and then you have the reinforcement of the corbel how about if you have a two corbel at the side so one two three and then middle button of your mouse and then you have this corbel reinforcement so a little bit of adjustment but the good thing is the corbel reinforcement is already there so once you have this one again you can just simply do the uh, copy so here I have this copy to another object so click here and then you can see here click and then you have now this and then this one copy to another object so here one two three four and then five so the good thing is this one is intelligent why look if I change the size of the column change the size of the column if I change this one to uh, to let's say 800 by 800 okay enter look what will happen Ev component already exists no? yeah everything changed even even the cut of the beam change this is also why we don't we don't do the uh, the modification on the drawing and then the model update no it's always on the, the the model and then your drawing will be updated always so you don't have to change the drawing because the drawing will automatically adjust once you have this update okay so this one this is what we call system component it's the intelligent component I mean it will follow accordingly if you have some changes let's say go back to uh, let's say 500 by uh, 600 so here it will change the uh, okay yeah here so it will change to to that particular size okay what if 
here if I want to have a reinforcement here. So if I want to have the reinforcement here, I can use my edge. Remember earlier when you add the edge reinforcement, you want to put one, two, three, right? So this edge reinforcement, okay, all I have to do is to apply and then click the wall and then it will give us the reinforcement on the edge. Okay, so you have this uh, reinforcement at the edge. Now, if I want to add also the mesh, we have the mesh reinforcement here, this mesh bar. So just simply uh, click on the uh, okay. click on the wall. Did I? Yeah. So I'm going to have this reinfor mesh reinforcement. So double mesh. You can also delete one of the mesh if you like. So if you only if you only want a single uh, single layer mesh, so you just simply click and then here you just remove one of the layer and then modify and then that one will be a single layer mesh. Okay. So this is the uh, the component all about. So you can uh, uh, you can use this component all you have to do is to, to key in the the uh, the name let's say mesh or let's say uh, uh, what else I don't know if there is a stir up yeah so there is a stir up connection here so rebar beam here stir up reinforcement okay um, what else so yeah so try that one in column, maybe I'll just list down the uh, the number of the the number of the code of the connection, and then you can try that one. So, so here we can add more information here. Let's say again, if I type here edge, so I just simply click here and then click, 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 and then click. So you have now the reinforcement edge reinforcement, and then here if you have if you want to have a mesh. So add the mesh here. Okay, now before I let you do that one. Okay, let's say for example this these two show only selected. This one, you want to have a connection here. Loop connection. Remember earlier we created the loop connection? So here if you just simply type wall, so there's a lot of connection here. So you can have this uh, uh, double wall, uh, and then you have you have also the uh, uh, wall group. Here you can see that there is a wall-to-wall -wall connection. So this wall-to-wall -wall connection, if I may follow the uh, earlier connection. So here you can see here, I can use this connection. Just click one and then two, then it will create this this type of connection, right? So. Uh, um, I can also have a T connection or L connection, then extra T. I don't want this uh, extra T. And then here, connector, a loop. And then this one, let's say uh, 30, 30. And then this one is uh, 500 and then 300. Okay? Apply. So the uh, this one, let's say it's uh, uh, 20. So just simply click 1 and then 2. And then there you go. So you have already the the connection, and this is intelligent connection. All if you want to change the 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 size of the rebar, then you can change it here. Or if you want to change this one, let's say 150 more more reinforcement. Okay. So that one is the wall-to-wall uh, uh, -wall connection. So there are some uh, wall connection here, like uh, uh, wall reinforcement, okay, like this one. If you want to have a uh, uh, what do you call that, a much much more, uh, uh, you want to have a U-bar connection on the on the wall. Okay, 
maybe it doesn't doesn't show but uh, yeah something like this so here you have this reinforcement if there is a uh, u bar or maybe you have if the opening if the opening is very near to the edge so instead of adding the reinforcement there it will give you a something like a column column type reinforcement okay so it will consider that one according to this uh, wall so let's say here maybe i'll just uh, create a uh, sample here so let's say i have a beam here and then i have uh, an opening so let's say one two three four okay so here I need to move let's say uh, 300 and then move also 350 okay so if I add this this wall reinforcement if I maybe I'll change the size of this one maybe uh, change it to 250 <coughs> Okay, so there you go. Where is that wall? Ah, here, wall panel reinforcement. If I click this one, yeah, look. The reinforcement, because this one, it, it finds out that this one is less than, <coughs> let's say, a minimum. Let's say if it is a less than 500, and then you will have more reinforcement here to reinforce the that uh, that particular uh, thickness of the wall and then also the beam it will give you the, the links instead of only the uh, and then to add the mesh so these are the uh, component which is available in the system okay okay so now um, what I want you to do now is uh, then let's have a, a practice on on this component okay component so try to create again the column the corbel the beam using this uh, component so here in the application and component you can see a lot you you can try if you go to this uh, what I call that let's say uh, go to this concrete so you can see this uh, precast uh, uh, precast component or you can just simply key in Let's say 83 or 63, enter. So if I type 63, beam reinforcement. If I type 83, that's a column reinforcement. So look, if I type 82, 82 is round column reinforcement. What is the round column reinforcement? Look, if I have this uh, column, if I have the column, then let's say uh, D, 800 so this one so this this column round column reinforcement just double click so this this one is for the pile you can use this one for the pile apply and then just simply click the column and then you will have this uh, with a spiral this it, it, it can be spiral or you can choose it's either spiral spiral this one modify so that one is a spiral or choose the uh, individual yeah something like individual rebar for your file okay so this lifting anchor if you want to use this one this one will calculate according to the center of uh, uh, gravity just simply apply and then OK and then click on the wall and then it will give you this uh, lifting anchor here so that one is the uh, center of, calculate the center of gravity now uh, I know that uh, from time to time you are getting the center of gravity right so how you how you calculate the center of gravity let's say in, in AutoCAD you manually measure right to get the center of gravity right so here if i want to get the center of gravity of this element all i have to do is right click inquire center of gravity and then it will give me this one is the uh, uh the information and then it will give you this this point 
that point is the center of gravity of this particular wall. I can just simply inquire that one. Even even here, this one, this one is a whole thing. Inquire center of gravity. So you can see here, this one is the center of gravity of this. Uh, let's say, for example, I have a beam. Okay, this beam is something like a... Uh, And then this one mm, create three D view. This one is tapered. So how you do the tapered? So let's say from here to here. So this one is a tapered beam, right? How you add the reinforcement? Let's say the link. So from from the concrete bar group here select the taper and then the link so here I can show you the uh, let's say apply oh sorry link so click so look if it is tapered if it is tapered look how it uh, it will be uh, modeled so first pick the part to reinforce okay I pick already the part to reinforce and then one two two three oh sorry three and then four and then middle button of your mouse so instead of picking the range instead of picking the range you go to the other side here so here I start from this point so in this case you need to start also on this side one two three four and then middle button of your mouse and then you have now this tapered reinforcement okay so immediately in 3d you can easily do that one now the question is what if I start from here and then the other side I start from there what will happen what do you think if I start from here one two three four and then this one I start from here one two three four I don't know what will happen here. <coughs> Twist. Please. Yeah. So you need to you need to see. Uh, you need to know how how this one works. So if you notice here, this one is a tapered tapered section. All right. Um. Okay. What else? Um, actually, for the curve, also the same thing. Uh, yeah. So, how you are going to create a uh, a um, reinforcement on the uh, on the curb curb wall? Okay. Let's say a wall, a curb wall um, panel. Let's see. One, two, three, and then this one, double click, change it to this one. Okay, let's see if this one works on this curve wall. Um, I think it will not work on this one. Okay, it will not work on this uh, poly beam. Okay, but, but. Um, if my panel is something like this okay so this one is let's say uh, 3000 by uh, 200 okay and then uh, this one is front modify and then uh, here I, I will I will do the uh, let's say cumbering let's say uh, this one is uh, uh, 250. Ah. <clears throat> Sorry. So I need to change this one. And then I need to change this one to 200 by 3000. Okay. So the cumbering, maybe I'll just change this one to uh, uh, 600. Okay. So curve. 
So in this case, I can use my what? I can use the uh, slab bar. This one. So click. Okay. 